Okay, so here's the second method that I'm going to be using to uh, solve the rotation array problem from Codality. Basically, um, to recap, um, what this question is asking us to do is to um, shift an array by k elements um, or rotate it so that um, uh, when given an array. Right. So if you have an array uh, per se that has the following elements, one comma two comma three comma four, and we wanted to shift it or rotate it by three elements, um, the first rotation would make it so that the four came to the beginning of the array and shifted the remaining three elements. Uh, by one. So one, two, three. That would be the first iteration. The second iteration would bring the three to the beginning since we're shifting right or rotating right at all times. And the final rotation would bring the two to the beginning. So as you can see, um, our array at the end of the day would be 2, 3, 4, 1 if we did a rotation um, or right shift three times. If we had done it twice, we would have been left with 3, 4, 1, and 2. So that's our diagram um, of uh, what's happening. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to have um, one, we're going to have our array, um, and we're going to create a new array. Because this time around, what we're doing is we're not using any proprietary JavaScript functions. What we're going to do is code everything out, because that's usually what the interviewers want with coding exams, right? So we're going to create a new array. We're going to shift it to the right by k times um, shifted element will come to the beginning of the array. I made the steps vague on purpose, right? Because there is multiple ways you can approach this but what I found is that if you try to take and jump at this and solve this with loops uh, right off the bat it could get a bit confusing so the easiest way to solve a lot of problems in code and in life is to break it up into smaller problems right so in this case we know at a basic level when we are shifting we're gonna have a shift operation and what the shift operation is going to do is take the last element in an array and move it to the beginning of the array. So we're going to have a nested function called shift right, shift array right, right? So we're breaking up this problem into a smaller problem. And at a basic level, the smallest operation would be a shift right operation. So now we have our array. And let's make a new array. Let b equal new array that has the same size as the a array, right? So now what do we do? So for the a array, we're gonna take its last element. So let's store the array length because we're going to be using it multiple times. A length. A length. Okay. And now we're going to take A of 
um, a length minus 1. So b is going to equal our b array is going to equal our array a array concatenated with the rest of the array a array which would be um, a dot sub we could get a substring right or we could even use a loop so one two three a dot split let's see how to get a substring Subway. Sorry. Okay, that would be a dot slice. And then we say the starting position and the end position. I can't believe I forgot that. But it happens. That's why we have the internet. So then we're going to take the slice from um, starting from zero and going to a length minus 2 because we're not going all the way to the end of the array and basically what we're doing here is concatenating the two arrays into a new array right and then we're going to return b i don't even think we need to do this because this is creating a new array right so there we have our shifted once array which is b Do we have any edge conditions? Yes, because we could still have an empty array. Right? Empty, null, or undefined array as an input. Okay, so now basically what this will do, the function we just created will shift the array right by one. And we're not using any um, JavaScript functions here, right? Other than slice. And even this um, array or this um, shorthand could be split up and easily um, put into a loop, right? We could set the zero element to zero or to the final element of A and use a loop to populate the rest of the B uh, array um, after we create it. So that there are multiple ways to do this and we could make it so that no, even slice isn't necessary, right? But this is shorthand for now. Um, okay, so now we are going to go to our uh, loop. So we're going to have our loop, and we're going to start at i is equal to 0. And we want to shift it by k elements, right? So i is less than k, i plus plus. So this time, this loop is going to be played and repeated k times. And basically all we have to do now is set A is equal to shift array right of A. So it's going to continuously shift the array right that many times, and then all we have to do is return A. Now, we're not done yet because we're to take care of the uh, edge conditions. So if A dot length is equal to zero or a is null or a is undefined actually a is null should take care of it all because we're not using a triple um, equals but no point in um, dealing with that now we can look at the problem and see if they have any special outputs necessary in the case that no array is sent in. Um, so in these cases, we'll just return A. Right, so this is, takes care of our edge conditions. The following shifts the array, rotates the array k times, 
and there we go. We should be left with a solution that would be accepted by interviewers um, because it isn't using any of the proprietary functions or shorthands, and this code could be um, scaled to any programming language because it is at such a basic level. And uh, let's see. So we have an error here. It says a minus one is not iterable. So it's not liking this. Okay, let's just convert this into a loop, right? So we have our b, so uh, b of zero, and this is what I meant, b of zero is equal to um, the final position of a, and then we'll just populate the array. Let i is equal to one, i is equal to zero, i is equal to one, and i is less than a length i plus plus. So now b of i is simply equal to a of i minus one, since it's a right shift, right? That's it. Okay. Run code. And we have another error. So we have shift array right, and we get an A. Let's ignore the edge conditions for now, because I think this is the right error for some reason, and check out the shift array right alone. Okay, so that works. Something's going on with our edge conditions. So a dot length is equal to zero. So it doesn't like us using a dot length, right? And why is that? Oh, it's because we use a single equals or a is equal to um, to no. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so now we have those two conditions. So let's check and see how this solution works. That would be used by, accepted by interviewers. Okay, it is thinking, it has scored it, and it's 100%. So as you can see, this is another possible solution um, that would be more widely accepted. For some reason, they don't like um, you want interviews using any of the coding languages specific functions. So yeah, uh, till next time.